Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And I've been receiving this request for a long time that to simplify pedigree analysis problems. And I've already put a lot of videos regarding pedigree and the detailed process of analyzing a pedigree and writing down uh, the genotypes by looking at a pedigree. But this video is all about how to solve pedigree problems really, really fast. Just looking at the pedigree and you want to solve the problems. And actually pedigree problems are everywhere in any type of exam you want to go. From genetics, you will get at least one pedigree. So I'm not going to talk about what is pedigree and how it works. I'm simply going to tell you what are the types of uh, pattern or inheritance that are possible uh, that can be explained with a pedigree. And I'll also tell you how to depict uh, those things by looking at a pedigree. So let's begin with it. So first of all, in human pedigree, by looking at a pedigree and analyzing a pedigree, we can tell that a disease can have four separate modes, right? Mainly two major modes that can be a dominant or a recessive. And among dominant, we have autosomal dominant and X-linked dominant. Similarly, in recessive, we have autosomal recessive and sex-linked recessive or X-linked recessive. So there are four modes of a disease that can occur. One is autosomal dominant. That means the disease gene is present in the autosome and the trait is dominant. Autosomal recessive, that the disease causing gene is present again in the autosome, but the re expression is recessive. That means it skips generation. X-linked dominant, the disease causing gene is present in X chromosome, but it's dominant in nature in terms of expression and X-linked recessive that is a gene that is present also in the X chromosome but the expression is recessive. Now among these four we need to talk about some important features and properties of all these four types of way of pedigree and mode of disease transfer because here we are not going to solve the pedigree from start to the end we are just going to look for some clues whenever we find the clue we can tag a pedigree with any of this four type of feature. So let's look at some important property of autosomal dominant. First of all, autosomal dominant, that's a dominant trait, it generally don't skip any generation. That means in every single generation, at least one individual is affected. And the second is both the parents can be affected, but the child can be unaffected. So think about it, father and mother both are affected, but the children unaffected. This is a high clue and very high yielding clue in terms of autosomal dominant trait. So whenever you find that thing, you'll know it's a very much dominant trait and kind of carried by autosome. So example of autosomal dominant trait is Huntington's disease and achondroplasia. You know, achondroplasia is a type of dwarfism. Now let's move on to the second type, autosomal recessive. The property of autosomal recessive, as it is a recessive trait, that skips generation. That means you won't find that in every single generation, at least one individual affected, you won't find that which is a uh, truth for autosomal dominant. That means uh, one of the individual is affected in generation one, in generation two, nobody is affected. But again in generation three, someone is affected. This general skipping of generation is a type of recessive trait. But how to know whether it's autosomal or not? Unaffected parents can also have affected children that father and mother both are normal without the causative agent of the disease but the children can be affected that is an important feature of autosomal recessive now we'll go for the third one that is x-linked dominant in the x-linked dominant the disorder or the disease never transfer from father to son it always tend to transfer from father to daughter and mother to son but another very important thing and very interesting thing about the x-linked dominant trait is that if a father is affected then all the daughter of that father will be affected and this is a damn true thing which we are going to see in the next time when we are going to solve some pedigree and the example for x-linked dominant vitamin d resistant rickets now x-linked recessive males are more affected compared to females and the reason behind this is males have only one X and that X is transferred from the mother because the father only gives a boy a Y. 
so this disease also transfers from father to daughter and mother to son and the disease never transfer from father to son it's not possible because a father only provides y to son right and it's an x linked trait it's not possibility so these are all the important clues and features that we want to find in all the pedigree problems that we are going to solve and let's look at some pedigree problems try to solve them only with this important formula and tips that we've talked about so let's move on and move to the first pedigree of our choice here we go the first pedigree of our choice as you can see in the basic idea of pedigree that the field region means those individuals are affected blank means the individuals unaffected or unharmed so in this case in this pedigree what we can see like for every pedigree when you start to solve first look for whether it's an autosomal or x-linked or look for whether it's a dominant and recessive whichever clue you'll get first now here you can see that this trait is present throughout and what else we can see is that if father and mother both are affected dot father and mother affected son affected daughter affected but this son is unaffected what does that signify both the parents are affected but child is unaffected and the only way it's possible if it's an autosomal dominant pedigree remember the first formula that we talked the first property that we talked so this particular set is going to tell us that this is going to be an autosomal dominant otherwise there won't be an answer now try to think about another formula like if parents are affected the disease is transferred it's present in generations but in this this particular generation the disease is not present because that particular trait is not present in either of these two individual of the two separate generations because here you can see these are two separate family and at this point this is a completely new family tree that's going to be created and in this case father and mother both are unaffected that's why the uh, the child children are unaffected but other than that this particular clue is enough to give you an idea that this is autosomal dominant pedigree so see how easy it's to solve with those formula let's move on to the next type this is the second pedigree that we want to solve so let's check it try to pause this video here and try to apply those tips and to get an answer then we'll talk about it now let's look at here in this particular pedigree what we can see is that this is a generation all the generations we can easily see and people are affected but the most important part the interesting part about this pedigree is this region if you look at this two generation what you can find is that mother and father both are unaffected but they have one affected daughter so parents unaffected child affected the only way it's possible if it's a autosomal recessive trait so another clue about recessive because here in this generation there is no disease but now the disease is again coming back so it's skipping generation so obviously it's recessive and also you can see that male and female are almost equally affected it's not like males are more affected so we are kind of confirmed that this pedigree is autosomal recessive pedigree without any doubt let's move on to the third one this is the third pedigree that we want to solve so what you can again see in this pedigree which is unique if you look at this pedigree male and female both are affected so you can't just exclude the idea whether it's an autosomal or x-linked what else you can look for you can look at here that almost the distribution pattern is real it's not going to apply that parents are affected child unaffected those laws are not applicable in this pedigree we have checked it but there is something new about this pedigree there is something unique about this pedigree and for all this pedigree that we're talking about i want you to find that unique feature about the pedigree because whenever you find that unique feature you know the answer so look at here in this pedigree even in the first uh, two generations here we see the father is affected and all the daughters are affected that is something unique here you can see father is affected daughter is affected here is only one daughter so one daughter is affected here three daughters three daughters all of them are affected because the father is affected 
So what kind of pedigree provides this information? If a father is affected, then all the daughter will be affected and it will not transfer in any region from father to son. Not possible. Look at here. The son is affected, but the trait is there from mother, never from the father. Similarly here, son is affected, the trait transferred from mother. So in this pedigree, there are two clues. One, affected father provides it all the daughters to be affected and in neither of this in no place in this pedigree uh, transfers between father to son that signifies that this pedigree is an x-linked dominant pedigree you can check the first slide that we discussed this is a typical feature of x-linked dominant pedigree so now let's move on to the fourth type and in this case what we can see is this is another type of pedigree and you can also see that the individuals affected in different regions so how you are going to solve this one by looking at this pedigree again you need to find out whichever part of this pedigree is going to give you that clue about the formula that we discussed and now by looking at this pedigree i can see it clearly here in these two generations because if you look at here in this first generation second generation actually overall here father and mother unaffected but one of the son affected so parents unaffected and an offspring is affected that is a typical part of a recessive pedigree apart from that what else we can see is that this is recessive so it can be autosomal recessive or x-linked recessive now how to prove whether it's an autosomal or x-linked another thing that you can check here is the disease is mostly transferred from mother to son here from mother to son in this particular case father is completely unaffected so obviously the disease should be transferred from mother to son and it's not being transferred from mother to daughter generally in this case we see the disease is transferred to daughter but here the father is also affected so what does that mean generally a disease is keeping generations so it's recessive and it's mostly affecting males and the affected males are generally getting this from the mother so mostly this disease is going to be x-linked recessive disease so by looking at this pedigree you can say now yes it is an x-linked recessive disease and that's how uh, the disease causing gene is transferred from one generation to the other now till this point we talked about all these four types of uh, pedigree and we checked one example of all these four types and you see simply in, in most of this pedigree you can simply apply that knowledge apply that formula and you can get an answer almost instantly without thinking of too much or without feeling uh, what genotype all those different regions have so if you have those pedigree and, and you can get some of the features so obvious by looking at the pedigree you simply can use this rule to get an answer within even minutes you don't need even minute to complete analyzing a pedigree and that will be always beneficial but in some cases the pedigree can be a little complicated where uh, you you can't probably apply most of the rules that we discussed in those case you try to get an guess an idea about that pedigree utilizing those formula and then try to think about the genotypes a little bit to answer it but i believe if you know those formula and if you apply each of those formula by looking at a pedigree finding the unique feature of that pedigree and applying the exact formula you are going to get an answer within 30 to 40 seconds that will save a lot of your time and hope this video helps you out if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that and also mention me about the new way of teaching using led if you like this i'm going to continue uh, with this method for any uh, video lectures which i'm going to prepare very soon thank you